Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working on the charger and in the last video I was able to get it all sanded down, ready for primer, the interior all cleaned out and vacuumed out so nothing was blowing around when I primed this thing. But what we need to do today is pretty much finish these rails up and get it ready to spray. So what that entails is I'm going to, everything that I 180 gridded, I'm gonna go with the red scotch right pad, scuff it back down, make sure there isn't any shiny spots right here, especially I didn't wanna sand that with 180, but I'm gonna spray primer over it. So actually I may mask it off, I'm not exactly sure. It really doesn't need to get primer, but I don't want stuff to get painted when it isn't scuffed because that just means the paint later on will lift because it's not adhering correctly. And uh, once everything's nice and scuffed down and all of these transitions are blended in, we'll be good to go. So let's get to work on this thing. Try to get it 100% ready, get it ready for primer, get it primed. I want this car primed by the end of this video because once it's primed, that means I can start working on the tranny tunnel, working on the all-wheel drive system and that'll bring us one step closer to getting this thing finally painted once all that stuff's fabricated.
finally have the charger ready for paint and even in multiple colors she still looks really good really straight so next time you guys see this car she is going to be one color and after i primer it i want to put the front and rear bumper the headlights the taillights and then just kind of give it a vis visualization of what it's going to look like but uh, i really like how how she's looking right now so let's get her in the paint booth roll her in get her primed and uh just go from there
All right, guys, so just finished priming the charger and she looks amazing. So I'm just really glad that it's finally in high build primer. The reason you high build primer cars is I'll show you right here. Let's see where it's at. I actually put it on pretty thick. So if you look right here where there's body work, you can see that the primer is kind of above the sanding scratches, but it also did fill in the sanding scratches. So when I go to block this car back out, I'm gonna let it bake like I've said previously, but once it bakes in the sun for a few days, I'll probably give it a few weeks before I block it out. Um, while I do that, I'm gonna do the roof mold or prepare the roof. I still need to pretty much body fill the roof, block it out, get it 100%, prime it, paint it. Same thing with the hatch, but I really do love how the I integrated the hatch to the charger trunk. It just came out better than I expected. I mean, it did take a long time to get it to this point right here, but now that it's here, it's just amazing. It's nice to see this car in a single color. You can finally see all the body lines that I, you know, I worked so tediously on and it took me so much time. You can see the nice body gaps right there. I mean, you can just see how nice and even they all are. Um, this one doesn't look like it because there's still that rubber seal back there, but they're all the same. I just, I measured it with the same paint stick and I'm just really happy that I spent the time to get all these gaps exactly the same. So now that it's in primer, we're just gonna wait. I'm just really happy that I can progress now that all the, pretty much all the fabrication is now done other than, you know, making the roof, you know, making the carbon fiber molds, making the carbon fiber pieces, which I do plan on doing separate videos on. So I wanna finish the, the roof itself as a, a single piece in the next couple of videos. I won't make it one video because it is a lot of, a lot of body work. Um, I do have the pieces already cut. I've done that in previous videos, but also in the next video, I wanna test fit all the bumpers, all the flares, the headlights, the tail lights, the glass, just make sure everything is gonna work. So I don't wanna get ahead of myself, body work it, paint it, and then find out that that stuff's not gonna actually flow together correctly or, or work or whatnot. So we'll get all the bumpers and over everything over here tomorrow, throw them all on, go, go uh, just crazy with it, make it look like a complete car almost, other than it being lowered. It is monster truck status right now, but that's uh, gonna conclude this video. So if you do like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below, share it with your friends. As always, see you guys next time.